years, but eventually it gets tired. Yeah, generally speaking, if there's a way to make money in the book business, Jeff Bezos is going to get it. He's the CEO of Amazon, the third richest man in the world. That's why we're going out of business, because you can't compete with these guys. Seriously. <laughs> so, so it, it, it's been coming for a long time, you know, and just the, the other two women, it was founded by my late wife and, and two other women, and, and uh, they just didn't really want to give up, even though they weren't making money, and you know, it just kept hanging on and hanging on. And, Finally, enough's enough. You know, we're not. It's a great. It's a great, great place, but we're not running to 501c3. There's nobody's. You know, uh, so you know how much. Hey, no, it's God. I do. Yeah. So time to. You know, it's, it's not going to change. Every single thing that could affect the book business is going in the wrong direction. You know, Kindles and everything, and, and uh, so there's there's no reason to suspect anything's going to change. You know, all the students move downtown; they don't buy books unless they're told to by the university. Well, they, they don't even do it then. Oh, so I'm a professor, so I know. Okay. Uh, so, you know, the, the students meant essentially nothing to the business, and so it, it's tough. But I don't think we're unique. I think uh, it's a typical situation with most, many small businesses, you know, you're, you're, you're fighting everything from Walmart to Amazon to, and it wasn't like that, you know, 30 years ago. Now they just gobble it up, you know, so it's, uh, I'm, I'm happy that they've decided to relieved in a way oh yeah because it's just so, so frustrating you know, no matter what you do you can't win and uh, so we can go over there and talk to yeah. the women's over there now but uh, Connie's over there now and What about your parents? My mom used to draw. Uh huh. Yeah, but my dad wasn't artistic. <laughs> And when this cools down, everything that's not glazed will turn black because I've created carbon. Okay. It starts a fire when it hits the ground mm -hmm. because of what the combustible is in the ground and what I throw on top. So everything that's not glazed turns black. And the copper, which all the copper comes out. The copper is the glaze. It's beautiful. So that's all in my garage. Tell me that story. Yes. Yeah. 
that's his brother Mario, and that's Razio, and this is 1955. And they could drive these, uh, no, th I think they're just sitting bikes. on it. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey Raz, what's the name of this bike? Lambretta. La Lambretta. And that's like on their family compound. And we had a black and white, and I had it colorized for Christmas. How did you do that? I sent, I sent it to a guy I love. Historical Binghamton. Is it um, an accurate color? Yeah, he told me the colors. Okay. Yeah, so he did it. You can see the blood on his leg and the bruises. Yeah. Yeah, he really did a great job. Yeah, a fun childhood. But so it was right in that town, it's a hilltop town. It's so cute. Where was your house? On the other side of which house? That house is on the other side here. <laughs> Every day he gives us a home, he gives us food, he gives us wonderful people, he gives us so many so that Jesus died for his sin on the cross. Amen, and everybody have a good weekend. Ooh, a first impression is Van Gogh. Oh. You See know that? Van Gogh is? Yeah, I absolutely do. When I came to this country the, the and they were talking. The G is a G. <laughs> yeah, when they said Van Gogh, I yeah. said, I never yeah, heard that, right? of him, right. you know, yeah. Van Gogh. But it, first impression makes me think of it because, you know, what you did here with the colors yeah. and so on. This is actually from a town in Germany. I, I was going out with a girl when I was younger and she came from Germany. Her father was Egyptian, her mother was German. So wow. then they moved here for some reason, you know, and yeah. she showed me where she came from. And it reminded me of, of Van Gogh and, and all oh, these, you know, yeah? the, uh, oh. Pissarro, and, you know, there were a lot of paintings, yeah. a lot of painters painted that kind of a scene. 
And I said, what a coincidence. You know, this girl actually lives in that thing. So I made my own painting from her photo. I like it. Okay, look, I like and it. I had a larger one I showed at the library uh, last year when I had the it is each other. It's in This is like an out of the way kind of art. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's from, from State well, Street, right? From State Street. Yeah, for me. it's a little. Yeah. You know, to me, if I'm coming from that end, this is the first place, not State Street. You know what I mean? You stop here first. Yeah. Whether yeah. it's a photography show or the antique, sometimes you have here, and you know, mm -hmm. you don't. Well, about. and now this time of year, the trolley that normally runs by us is not running. Right. right. Yeah. That's and, a, and we do have we catch a few people waiting for the trolley. That are <laughs> and, and, and we bring them in. And we talk to him. Yeah. Bayard. B A Y A R D. Okay. And um, so I had a job there. I was working with a friend with landscaping and stuff, and they had to repair the greenhouses. So when we were doing a greenhouse, I, I just sat up there and saw this view and said, Ooh, this is, <laughs> this is interesting. And the perspective was crazy. So I said, Okay. So that's how that came about. And then that part was just the, the, the flower path, you know, the flower garden thing or whatever. It's an arboretum, which means it's a, a tree zoo, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So they have all kinds of trees and things. And back in the younger days, you go there and, you know, talk about Ken Kesey. How's that sound? You know who Ken Kesey was? I haven't heard of him. The Merry Pranksters? You never heard of the Merry Pranksters? Ken Kesey and his boss? How about Osley? Do you know who Osley was? Oh, he made the best L LSD in 1967, 8, around there, and Osley drove in Ken Kesey's bus, and the bus was all full of hippies. They actually, there's a book called The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test. They electrified an entire forest, and then everybody dropped acid and just tripped out all night long. What do you mean they, like, lit it up with right. Christmas trees? Christmas lights. And things. Right, so the entire forest in, in uh, California, you know, the, the mountain range there, was it, Rockies, whatever, and they just made, you know, uh, I think it was... Uh, God, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. I make a documentary about the first Friday art show. Okay. So I come out every month. Oh, good. This is the second good. time I got here. Yeah. So um, the Patrick show, this one right here, with, with the, uh, the name of it, Clyde. Why the hands? Yeah. The hands. And then there are four second places, two for color, two for black and white. Right. And they have the, um, the red ribbons. And then the one with the um, the orange, uh, the silver, blue uh, ribbon, the honorable mention. And there's several throughout the hood. <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> get our ears. <laughs> so, are these people? Are these blind submissions for you that you saw? Uh, yes, they were. Okay. Yeah. The and I tried to show that the, the names were out. I really like that fox. So this is a very narrow stream. Yes, it's a little bit of the